this episode is also available in 3D. For more information, go to funnyhacks.com forward slash C3D. Today we're going to get airborne using tarpaulin and clotheslines. Prepare to lose your forever children. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm getting the polish. Cool. And I'm Tim Hilljard. <laughs> See? Easy! And we're here to show you a hack that's weird, unusual, and the occasional use of one too. Sometimes they work out really well, sometimes not so much. But either way, it's a fun way to learn about the technology that surrounds us every day. This is Funny Hacks. Fact noise makes the logo look good. Shut up! The idea, basically to use this tarpaulin to make a parachute that will propel you up the side of a mountain. Exactly. Now we were hoping to get airborne with this and it didn't really work with the first try. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have made some modifications which we get to test out so that will be quite interesting. But it was a hell of a ride to just let it inflate and one moment we're at one side of the screen and the next moment we're on the other. <laughs> um, you basically get dragged along the ground for most of the way. Well I did anyway, Kevin had a bit of a better uh, foothold than I did. <sighs> Now, uh, so with that in mind, when we talk about the risks of this thing, your minimum injury will be bruises. <laughs> <laughs> minimum! Actually, I think this is the shirt that I went up there in. I have removed the grass stains, most of them. You can still see some here. So yeah, uh, I'm generally pretty fit and so whatever I do, I generally don't pull any muscles. When we did this, I pulled lots of muscles. <laughs> so uh, the point of this is that, yes, have fun doing this, but bear in mind you will get hurt and so <laughs> don't go jumping off a cliff with it. Understand what I can and can't do first. No, sorry, just don't jump off a cliff with it. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike most of the funny hacks things, this one is actually... Well, it actually puts you in danger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, I think probably we don't need to... I mean, okay, yeah, so how we did it is basically uh, one big tarpaulin. It is quite a big one, and then you tie a knot. Actually, that's a really good point. If we just turn this around slightly. So now you tie a knot in it here, and it's a little bit concealed there, um, but you tie the knot in the corner. You then tie the rope around that knot, and uh, then you have a pretty secure connection. Remembering that we're using little clotheslines here, so, um, yeah, airborne is not necessarily a great option if you're trusting your life in something that costs you two dollars. Basically, it'll get you airborne, but security, not great. I mean, we didn't take off, so it wasn't much of a problem, but, I mean, realistically, you're wanting to get some better rope. Yep. That's all there is to it, so really, I think at this point, we just need to roll the clips of uh, what we did. Rolling is good. <laughs> okay, he's in the second field now. There's an inconsistent but uh, successful run. Me on it just before. Kevin. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. And we're back. Uh, just one more quick uh, note that we forgot to mention during the main part. Basically the original idea was to use a, an old backpack as the harness for basically using it as a parachute, but when we actually tested it, it didn't hold up to even half the weight of a person. Uh, the handles ripped off, so we basically used them as hand grips to hold onto the actual ropes, which is very important because these things can tend to get very, very sharp on your hands. They do. This this made a massive difference. Suddenly, it was it was very unpleasant to hold on for just a few moments um, with the amount of force we were dealing with. But with this, um, you could you could hold on for the entire ride. And you generally had to. <laughs> um, we've we've left off one other important detail on this. So, 
when the thing is getting out of control and you need to stop, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. do you do? Okay, instead of just trying to put your foot, uh, put uh, your foot flat and try and dig in because essentially you'll be dragged along the ground anyway. You just let go of one handle; it will flail out, and you'll basically stop your prop. Uh, prop your, uh, it, it'll it'll uh, it'll take a lot of the tension off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's useful. <laughs> no, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Cool. That'll be out of view there. Although, what about squeezing it in just behind here? Slightly diagonally. That would work. Prepare to lose your forever children. That works. I meant to say future children. That's okay.